this AI agent doesn't just chat, it's able to click, scroll, and log into websites exactly like a human would. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can build it with no code and get up and running in a matter of minutes. We're gonna be able to use our AI brain from multiple different ones, Claude, OpenAI, and Gemini using OpenRouter. We're gonna use our AI agent to control all of the different activities and we're going to be using Airtop AI, which is an automated browser agent that's going to be able to go off and complete all of these activities for us. And we'll be able to see a live display over the top of what that agent's doing so we can get the insights and keep a track of it. Let's kick this off with a quick demo to see exactly how it works so you can build it yourself. We're going to be able to open the chat, paste our prompt in here. We're going to send this off. We're going to be checking Amazon as well as Apple's website. As we can see here, we're now going through and able to use our AI brain. We're using Gemini Pro at the moment, just because of that high token count. So we're going to be scraping lots of data. We're going to start by generating a session with Airtop, which is a great autonomous browser that we're going to be using a little bit later on. And I'll show you how to get set up. Now we've created our session, we're going to create our window. And the great thing about this is if I copy this link here, we'll be able to see exactly what the agent is up to. So as we come across here, it's now loading up for us now and we will be, we'll be able to see. So it's come across to Apple, it's come across to Amazon. We're now searching for a MacBook Pro in here. As we can see in the background, it's scraping some data, it's gathering all this information for us. It's going to go through and analyze all of the different cases on here. If we come back across, it looks like it's run into an issue and then resolved itself. So that's how it's able to use that think module, the multi brain to get the output that we need. If we come back across, it looks like it's clicking on an element. So it's come across to Apple on its own, able to move across the different websites. And we've not logged in at all. This is not through an API. It's doing all of it itself. We're going to run through lots of use cases, how to use it in a little bit longer. But as we can see, it's now going through and trying to find that MacBook Pro. So there we go. It's now opened up the MacBook stage. And now it's going to go through and try and find that MacBook Pro. So it's probably analyzing the screen in the background at the moment. As we can see here, it's now using the AI in progress. We should see the little cursor in a second. It's probably going to click on that MacBook Pro in the top left hand corner. And then we'll be able to see some of the pricing that goes with it. So we'll just see if it does that. Yep, there we go. It's just gone through and clicked on it. So now it's able to go through and analyze some of the information. Again, we've not given it a really detailed instruction to go and choose the different configurations. It's probably just going to analyze the start here, find that lowest starting price and be able to provide it back. So now if we come into here, what we should be able to see is on Amazon, it starts around $219 for 2019 MacBook Pro and it can go to around $4,000, $3,000. And we can see here on the official website, it starts at that $1,600. So able to do it all itself, completely autonomously. If you wanna get access to this straight away, make sure to come across to the community. You'll get access to it for free. You just need to come into the classroom, down to the AI agents. We've got one with the title here, and we'll come a bit further down. It's got all of the requests, all of the prompts. Download the blueprint in here. Come across to a new environment, come to the three dots, import from file, and it's going to load it up for you straight away. So you won't need to do a thing apart from change your API keys for both OpenRouter and for the actual Airtop itself. But let's go through and build it from scratch. So we're going to be able to get rid of all of this and we're going to keep the backgrounds just to make it nice and easy. So now I'm going to start with the chat's trigger node just because I want this is how the information is going to come through. So nice and easy within NA10. We're then going to do an AI agent. This is so that we can capture the data and also coordinate the different tasks that we're going to be doing. We're going to keep this as the JSON chat input, but we are going to need to come down and add a system message. We'll change to expression and pop this out. We're going to come back across to the community and then we're going to copy here where we've got our AI agent prompts. We'll copy this, come back across, and then we're going to paste in here. Now this has got some really clear guidance, walk through it in slow time yourself, just around how we're going to be using the different modules we've got to get the output that we're looking for and how we're going to end the session as well. So lots of information in there that just gets the best outputs. We're going to come out of here though, we're going to do save. 
We're going to add our chat models. We'll pull up to the top. We're going to do open router. This is going to enable us to get access to lots of different LLMs. If you've not done this before, come down to create a new credential. You're going to need your API key. You want to come across to open router. As you can see here, they've got hundreds and hundreds of different models that you can choose from. Everything from we've got DeepSeek, DeepSeek, all the way through to Metas, all the way through to OpenAI. Whatever you can think of, they've got it. We're going to come across to keys. We're then going to need to set a new one up. So for example, YT YouTube demo, we're going to do, we're going to do create. We'll copy this, come back across, paste in there. And we'll just say YT demo as the account. We'll do save and this will make sure that we're all connected in. And now, as we see here, we've got all of the different LLMs to choose from. So if you've got a particular one you like, you'll be able to choose that. We're going to do Google and then Gemini 2.0. 5 Pro just because it's got that higher context window. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if we come across to here, we'll be able to see that the context window is the number of tokens it can ingest. But what's a token? Now, 100 tokens is around 75 words, so you just want to remember that ratio. As we can see here, that's why using something like GPT or we've got Llama 4 or we've got some of the Gemini ones, we've got that really high token limit. So whilst it's scraping all that data and using it, we're not going to run into any limitation or issues. We're going to come back across. We've got our model all ready to go, so we can come out of there. Now we're going to do the memory, so we're going to pull that through. I'm just going to do some simple memory for this, and this is going to remember the last five messages that came through chat. The first tool that I'm going to add is a think module. This is because it's really good if you're using something like Claude as well as anything else to get that output double checked to make sure it's meeting the requirements that we need. Now, if we want to start using Airtop AI, it's really easy. We just need to pull across here. We're going to do Airtop, and that's going to show us all of the different options that we're able to use. So what we're going to need to do first is get our credentials. So we're going to need to create new credential. We're then going to come across to Airtop. This is automating your browser, so you can use it through the code, or Python lens here, JavaScript, or we can come through and use it through an API. And it's got so many use cases, which we're going to run through shortly. From the pricing point of view, I've been using the free version, and that's been more than enough for the over two hours of testing that I've done. And if you want to upgrade, it's either $30 a month, $80 a month, or $400 a month. I think for many of you, that free version is going to be absolutely fine. We're going to come through and sign in. I've already got an account, so I've logged in. We're going to come up to where we've got our API keys. We're going to do create a new key and we'll do YouTube and then demo. This is going to generate for us. We just need to copy this, come back across, paste it in there. And we'll do YT demo is the title, save. And now we'll just go through and test it. And that's it. We're all connected. We're going to do a cross. Now we can see a few of the different options. Now, as mentioned, at the start, we need to create a session. Now, what does that mean? Well, the session is going to be the house for all of the different actions and windows and tasks that we're going to be generating. So the first action would always be starting a session and the last action would always be terminating. So we're going to need to come down here. We're going to need to do create a session. We can add some profiles in here. I'll include the documentation below. This is just where you're able to store some of your login details. So something like X, Amazon, Instagram, anything like that. You'll be able to come through and set it all up so that it remembers you. You get past any of the cookies, any of the blockers so that you can use it nice and easy. We're going to come out of here, though. We'll come back across to where we had our API key to add a profile. You just want to come down here and log in. So, for example, if I delete this, so we're going to be able to create a profile. We can call it Google. This is then going to take us through and we'll just need to log in and authorize some different elements. There we go. So now we need to add a URL. So, for example, if we were to do just Google, we'll be able to copy this and then come back across to where we had it. You can add it with a proxy to change the different regions. We're just going to do connect with proxy and start a session. This is going to enable us to add our account from Google so that we can go through and save it in the future. As you can see here, it's loading up the browser. What we're going to need to do is in the top right, come through and sign in just like you would on your own computer. Check that you're happy with this. Check the security documentation. I'll include it all below around the profiles. Just check you're happy with it if you're sharing this kind of information. 
So there we go, we're gonna to come to, to where we've got sign in. We're just gonna log in like we normally would. So I'll do my email, we'll then be able to add our password. We're then gonna to need to go through and just authorize this. So there you go, you can see in the top right, we've got my little icon, so we know we're all good to go. We can do finish, and now we're gonna be able to use it in the future. So for example, if we come up back across, we can do my, and then Google, and then profile, and we'll be able to use that. We can save it if we want to, add in the IEO timeouts, and much, much more. But this is the first and key one. This is going to be where we create the session. So we're able to go through and do any of the tasks. If you want to know what's possible, make sure to come across to where they've got studio. This is going to show you all of the different examples that they've generated already. So for example, replying to X posts, we've got finding customer data, we've got looking up a LinkedIn profile and much, much more. There's so many different use cases that you could use this for. So just play around with it and find what works best for you. We're going to come back across though. We're now going to pull this across and we're going to do a tool. If you want to know what's possible for all of the different actions, if I just add air top in here, you can do it individually. We can query pages, delete files, get files, fill in forms, and so, so much more. We're going to come out of here though, because we're using it as an agent. The next part is we're going to need to create a window so that we can go through and do our browsing. So what we're going to do is come down and make this dynamic for both of these. We're going to come back across to our AI agent. We're going to copy this direction for the description of the session ID. We're then going to come back across and we're going to come down to where we've got the URL. We're going to copy this instruction and add that in there. This is just going to guide the AI on making sure that we get the best inputs that come across. If you want that live view, you just need to come in here and add that. You can change the screen resolution. So I'm going to do this one here just so it's nice and easy for our demo. You can also resize it if you want to. We're going to be able to come out of here. We're going to do save. And now we've got the ability to create a window to complete our tasks. Now we're going to come through and we're going to be able to load a window. So this is where we're going to be able to go through. And if we've got a specific URL, be able to complete that. So we're going to come down again to where we've got window. We'll do load URL. We're going to need to change these. So again, both of these will go to expression. We'll just copy these across from where we've got our formula, our descriptions in the community. This is just to make sure that we're making it consistent because what I found is if we come across to where we've got some previous examples, we'll come down to sessions. Sometimes what would happen is this form here, this session ID here, it would get rid of the hyphens and it would just make it all in one. So the AI is helping get rid of that issue. We're gonna come back across. We're also gonna add the URL in here. So we'll come down and then do description of URL. We're going to copy this, come back across and paste in there. We're just going to need to do this for all of the different tasks. So now we've got the ability to also load windows, which is where we can load different pages within the agent that we're going through. We can now go through and add a few more. For time, I'm going to come across and we're just going to copy where we've got some of these ones here and we we'll just connect up the ones that we haven't done already. So we're going to get rid of load window and then plus these two. We're going to bring our terminate session as well as these ones across at the bottom. This is now going to give us the ability to end the session, i.e. make sure that it's not running constantly in the background because we've got the terminate. And all we've done in here is add the session ID to make sure that we're going to stop that process at the end. We're also going to be able to type. So this is where it can interact with the different text maybe on screen. So like we saw in the demo earlier on, be able to type MacBook Pro in a search bar. We've also given it some instructions on the text it's going to be putting into that area. We've got the enter key as well. So will it actually press enter or have the ability to? And we're going to be able to down here explain what it's looking for. So for example, the search bar is what we're looking for is that element to complete the task that we're trying to do. We're also going to be able to click. So as we saw in the demo, it's able to click on MacBook and then MacBook Pro so that we can see the different insights. And again, same here, we filled out all of the details on what it's looking for. Now scrape data. This is why we're using one of the larger context windows because what it's going to do is pull all of that information down and I'm using the smart scrape, which is going to return it as markdown formatting just to get some of the key information. But if we wanted to use query page, we could just as easily do that. 
we could give it a prompt so this is where it'd be able to go through analyze that page and give a more concise response back so if you wanted to add a description you could say please summarize the contents of the page for us to analyze there we go so we can come out of here we can do save and now if we wanted to do exactly that same request that we had a bit earlier on we could say please tell me how much a new dell laptop costs on amazon we can send this off and now again without any apis this is able to go off and analyze any website that we've got out there with the cookies the logins everything that we showed you a bit earlier on and it's nice and easy to integrate i'll include this link down below as well that will help you get set up with some of the na10 and we've got all of the resources ready to go in the community we'll just wait for this to come back as we can see here we're now creating a window so if you want to come down change to json they're going to be able to copy this URL in here. We'll be able to come across to a new page here. So there we go. We can now see exactly what it's doing. We're now on Amazon. So it's going through and finding some of those latest laptops from Dell. Maybe it wants to go off and search some of the other websites as well. Again, think about all of the different opportunities this opens up for giving it autonomy to go off and complete actions. If we come back across here, we'll be able to see that we've got some costings there that have come back incredibly quickly. As we showed you a bit earlier on as well, if you wanted to come through and do AirTop as a process, you could get it to fill out forms, upload data, go into X, scrape so much information and much, much more. This is taking AI agents to a whole nother level where they're able to dynamically interact with the internet, different web pages and applications to complete different tasks for you. If you want to get access to this, again, make sure to come across to the community. We've got all of this ready to go, plus much, much more on AI agents, masterclasses, and lots of other value that you'll get access to. Stay tuned for more around AI agents, automation, and have a great day.